Sims and we are back with more Radiant Tail in our not exactly Genia era, but technically in our Genia era. We are in the kind of Genia chapter, but we are going to do the Aleste and Calivus endings. Well, we're gonna start and we're gonna see how far we get, how long they are, thinking that they're probably gonna be short because it seems that we just go to like right now. Let's go see who we get first. Okay, we hit a list first, so we'll go and do the list ending first. Okay, so we do this, we have a choice, and then we get the list ending, so we'll see what happens. One night, after another day of work whizzed by, I stocked up and returned to the tavern. With silence as my company, I looked over my schedule for the next day. All the paperwork's ready, so after a final check, I'll go submit them. That's true, so this was a common route... So this is before, this is like, we've gone through, we've talked to everyone, but I feel like she's kind of maybe sort of figured out her feeling because like, well, she got all, you know, like hot and bothered with Ginia being shirtless, but like, so is Aless going to steal us away? Anyway, there's an important meeting in the afternoon, so I need to watch Ginia like a hawk. It seemed that my hectic days were far from over. The ringing of the hanging doorbell pulled me back to the present. Uh, my apologies, but we're currently clo- Pardon me, I'm afraid I'm not here as a customer. Assuming it's a Lust, because we came to see a Lust, so. A Lust? Sorry for barging in without notice. There's something I'd like to discuss with you quickly. Do you have any time? I wonder what it's about. Has Ginia disappeared again? Yeah, I'm free. Please, have a seat. I'll make us something warm to drink. I shall, thank you. Tea leaves from culture and spring water from Orions, hmm? I can feel your dedication to high-quality ingredients. Alist relished in the aroma of my freshly brewed black tea, sitting back to admire Lieber's interior. This tavern's always such a pleasant, homey place. I can see how growing up here would lead to someone becoming as considerate and warm as you. Are you flirting with me? Because I'm cool with this. Alist, um, you're gonna make me blush. Since I'd prepared him tea as an acquaintance and not a waitress, I told him he didn't need to pay. But being the dutiful man he was, Aless left payment on the counter anyway. And now then, I shall cut to the heart of the matter. On the day of the ceremony, I wish for Circus to perform once again. Oh? Huh? By perform, you mean like when we toured around the country? Yes. It's been one of the most requested events since the citizens learned of the festivities. And many are saying they hope to once again partake of Circus's marvelous, marvelous performance. And the king expressed his agreement, and we've already contacted Vilio, who'll collect all the scattered members. That means I'll get to see everyone again. It was a bolt from the blue, and I placed a hand on my chest to calm my racing heart. I recalled the brilliant smiles that bloomed on our audience's faces, illuminated by the stage lights... Though the journey was over and I'd returned home, the emotions that brimmed over in my heart that day were still so vivid. Can I count on your participation? Yes, please let me join in. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. On that note, His Highness also wishes for a repeat performance. He said that if Circus was performing again, he wants to stand on the stage if possible. Hmm, you mean Prince Calivus wants to participate as a performer? Yes, until now, the prince has rarely ever asked for anything. Uh, for that reason, I personally hope to grant his request, but... Aleste hesitated. He looked torn. Many ministers have voiced their objections, saying that the prince is recovering and shouldn't exert himself. Uh, furthermore, your shows are not something you can prepare for overnight, are they? That's a good point. Each member of Circus came to the table with their own unique talent, and even they practiced extensively before a show. Therefore, I thought I should seek first your opinion as a, as Circus's producer. What do you think? Is the prince's participation feasible in your eyes? Well, it would be difficult. I, wa I want him to join us. Yeah. That's it. Romance Aleste. We may face some hurdles, like finding practice time in his packed schedule, but I'd love for the prince to join us. As the producer, I'll figure it out somehow. Really? 
His face lit up and I gave a firm nod. I learned many things on my journey with Circus. Awes and thrills I'd never have experienced if I stayed in my normal box like I used to obsess over. I closed my eyes and sifted through my memories. I recalled the day I departed from this tavern and the day I came back home. Many will watch our show and many will leave with a smile. I want the prince to feel that too. That's true, because in this ending, the prince didn't go with us and end up like performing like he had in some of the later ones. I paused and met Aleste's gaze with determination. At the moment, I don't think I want the prince to be a guest performer. My hope is that he can join us as a fully-fledged member of Circus. If that sounds acceptable, I shall reprise my role as producer and help in any way I can. But of course, thank you, Spacey. There's no one better suited for the role than you. The prince is full of motivation as well. Please turn it into the best show possible. I will. I nodded resolutely before whipping out my notepad to brainstorm. Prince Calimus is royalty, so he can use a variety of elements, right? I think we can make it visually a visually stunning show, just like we did back in Orion's. Uh, I have heard accounts of that water exhibition was a sight to behold. Other than that, we could go for a cute theme, similar to what we did in Kalida. We could assemble Rady and other fae while the prince is the central performer. He can dance with the tiny fluffy critters and... <laughs> Aless jolted to his feet, knocking his chair over with a clatter. Then he swooped in toward me. This is- okay, this is this- okay, so this is one of them. How fucking adorable is this? He is just excited for the prince, but like, I'm just gonna pretend he's just professing his undying love for us. Because it's so adorable! This is the one that they show, I think, in the- I- this is- Like, ugh. Look at his goofy face. He's so adorable. She is like, the fuck you? She's like, sir? <laughs> Love it. May you have the blessings of the four great spirits. Huh? Look at him. You know, he's blushing and he's so eagerly happy for the prince. I want you to fall in love with me and not the prince, okay? Seriously, let's simmer down. He grabbed my hand ecstatically and stared in my eyes and stared at me, eyes flaring with ardent passion. I want you to stare at me with art and passion, not because I'm helping the prince. The prince is already adorable and charming, but now you plan on pairing him with the fluffy fay, oh so popular with children? Only a genius. No, only the most cunning and wicked demon could craft such an idea. Just imagining it in my mind is enough to tell me one truth. This is what they mean when they say the apple of my eye. No, wait. My lowly imagination could never recreate the prince's unmatched charms. The day the prince stands on the stage will be the day to remember. Even if it becomes the day I breathe my last, I will have absolutely no regrets. Please calm down. Your face is, um, really close. Oh. The next moment, Aless snapped out of it. He's looking at us with ardent passion, but it's literally because he is fangirling over the prince and us and the... And, like, I just... Sir... This isn't gonna give me my window, is it? I mean... Maybe, maybe. Because, like, he came here to ask, and it's more like, help the prince do some stuff, and, like, but I'm gonna need you to steal me away, sir, because I'm gonna be very disappointed if this is just, like... We get some time with Aless. That's all that matters. I'm gonna... Oh, the windows... I, I can jam my fingers in that tiny crack. I can pry this motherfucker open. I can do it. Don't worry. I could have found and finagled a way to find a romance with Aless in the original game, so you giving this opportunity, more than enough for me to crack that fucker open, okay? So. My apologies. Your idea was so out of this world that I couldn't help but get invested. I, I'm honored to hear that. More importantly, um... Would you let go of me now, please? I glanced at my hand, which was clutched in his firm grip. Hm? Oh, right. Aless reacted as if he'd only just realized what he was doing. He gently released my hand. That was a little rude of me, grabbing the hand of a lady without her permission. My sincerest apologies. No, it's fine. I fanned my burning cheeks. I'm glad he came when we- I'm glad he came when we were closed. Feeling relieved from the bottom of my heart, I let out a long sigh. 
there were two variations on that CG, so I really hope that that wasn't it. You know what I mean? Because it's variations. That counts to me. That's the same CG. It's two variations of the same CG. But time passed by in a flurry after the ceremony was announced. As the big day approached, the streets were strung with cheerful decorations. The shops along the main street trimmed their eaves with beautiful garlands and put up posters advertising celebratory dis celebratory discounts. See, what I would like to see is like, okay, yeah, we were helping the prince and like do that, but that was our last ending is we then spent more time working with him and they're just kind of rushed. They're going to loop around it and be like, we spent so much time with him. And then, you know, oh, you know what? Like they kind of leave it open. Like you could be like, like, like the way the Jinnia ending was in the main game where it was like, we're a secretary now. And you're like, I can work with this. We're going to fall in love with him. You know what I mean? So when they do fan disc number two, we get in the last route. <laughs> the shops along the main street trim their eaves. Oh, I already read that. Merchants from other cities swooped in one after another, and with them came numerous pop-up stalls in the town square. Then the day finally arrived, so I wonder if we get to actually do our little performance. That's kind of cute. A toast to our noble prince! And to the peaceful reign of our king! Cheers! A salute of guns marked the start of the festivities that morning, followed by King Vigonia's opening address. Arthur was now overflowing with smiles and delight on a scale never seen before. Welcome, welcome! Stop by our food court straight from Ferris! If you like eating on the go, you mustn't miss out! Can't have a mug of Ferris beer without fried chicken! Under broad daylight, citizens clinked their mugs against one another and purchased every single treat they could find. Work, are you for real? Who does something like that on a day of celebration? Some threw all work out the window and joined in the merriment, declaring that it was a party without regard to duty or status. I feel like this should be like a citywide celebration and like nobody should be working today. You no, know, it should be like a national holiday, you know? In Orions, everyone knows my face readings are frighteningly accurate, so why not stop by and give it a go? You won't regret it! I have no idea what the fuck that voice was, but it just happened. Those who'd come all the way from other cities were enthusiastically hawking their wares. My accessories are all masterpieces made by Cultura Craftsmen. If you're looking for a present for a special someone, come over! Wow, what a pretty necklace! Let's buy matching ones. How could we forget the married couples and lovers leaning into each other and sharing blissful smiles? On this street, bustling with activity, one boy had his head on a swivel. Wow, wow, wow! Here's people everywhere! I don't remember Firo's voice, but whatever. It was Firo, the... The Ratatuskar? Ratatuskar? Whatever he is. The squirrel. His mouth was hanging open, his eyes as wide as saucers. I've never seen so many humans in one place before! If I let my guard down, I might drown! Hmm. What's this, lad? Your first time at a festival? Uh, yes. I just came from Kalita. Oh, you're a student, then. This one sure packs a punch, doesn't it? I remember how everybody went wild at King Vigonia's coronation back in the day, but today's even crazier. It's amazing! Just watching it is fun! Ho <laughs> ho, good to hear. Since you're here, might as well live it up. There's plenty of shops, and I hear the prince is going to do a speech. I will, but you see, there's something else I'm most looking forward to. Hero turned his gaze to the plaza before the castle. He had a cuter voice than the other one. I can't quite get it back. It's fine, we'll get it. A majestic tent towered over the area, and people were crowding it like bees to honey. I'm really, really excited for that! I can't wait to watch the special circus show that'll return only for one day! If we're gonna have the prince perform with Faye, then Pharaoh would be involved. Do you think he's just like, I can't wait for that! That looks like a great show! And he's just out there marketing? That'd be amazing. I stole a peek at the crowd and saw there was an empty seat in the house. There wasn't an empty seat, sorry. Then I sucked in a deep breath. Even from backstage, I could feel the heated, overflowing anticipation of her audience. A familiar tension at all my hairs on end. A sensation I'd experienced countless, countless times on our journey. 
All right. Is everyone ready? I am so happy to see everyone fantastically dressed again. Oh, I love it. Listen. Oh, I love it. Totally. Leave it to me. Hope you guys haven't gotten rusty. Spare me the nonsense. I should be asking you that. Surely you haven't devolved from a dragon to a useless lizard, have you? <laughs> Hearing the panther between Vilio and Zephora makes me feel that, yes, I've come back to Circus. I'm ready as well. Though I have not performed since our last show, the finesse of my sword dance has only increased. Eek. I'm so nervous. At the sight of the team talking to each other backstage, a warm feeling flared to life in my heart. I traveled around the world with these teammates of mine, and now Prince Calivus was one of us too. Never had I ever imagined that we would stand on stage together again. Hmm, what's this? About to bowl your eyes out, Spacey. N no, I'm not. I just got a little, little bit overwhelmed by the nostalgia. I cannot fault you for shedding tears. I can fully empathize with your feelings. Yeah, I never thought I'd do another performance with you all, and not even in my wildest dreams. I actually thought I was having a nightmare when Lizardbrain smashed through my window screaming, Your ride is here! Come on, I was running out of time and thought that'd be faster. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, when I'm reading that as a forward, I'm like, Thinking in my head, I'm like, did he actually fuck? Apparently he actually fucking did that. Like, okay. Jesus. Someone chuckled, and soon all of us were laughing out loud. To bring us back to our task, our leader clapped his hands. And there he is, gorgeous as ever. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the fun, but I think our audience will fall off the edge of their seats if they wait any longer. Prince Calivus is with us today, and failure is not an option. I'm probably the one with the highest chance of messing up, actually. But I'll work really hard. And don't worry. Even if you slip up, someone will cover for you. You're implying that someone doesn't include you. None of you can watch out for yourselves. I've had to step up and play babysitter. I love the fact that the saltiest bitch is the clown. It's never gonna get old. Still, even in this, you're like, the saltiest goddamn marshmallow is the clown. Mistakes are part of our appeal, are they not? We can just enjoy whatever our show throws at us. When he said, the one who finds the... The one who finds fun wherever they go will always come out on top. Oh my god, are we putting our hands in? <gasps> Is this the CG? Because that shouldn't count as an LS CG. That we'd go in our separate ways once. But it's still cute. Our hearts hadn't changed one bit since then. I was sure of it. I also don't like that they consider this an Alest ending. It's not really an Alest ending. My wonderful team and I were about to make smiles bloom on everyone's faces yet again. This feels so final, you know? Ready, guys? It's showtime! I do love that we get, but this should be like the circus ending, not an Alest ending. Okay, it's not over yet. Okay. I glanced out the window, which was lathered with a faint layer of fog. The plaza in front of the castle was right below, dappled with lights flickering away restlessly. I came to a halt in the corridor and admired the distant cityscape. Today felt like something out of a dream. That just felt so final, you know what I mean? And I was like, that feels more like a circus ending than an Aleste ending, just because there was a part with him, but... King Vigonia's opening address and marked the beginning of the ceremony. As the sun climbed high into the sky, Prince Calivus had stood on stage with Circus for our special show. When the curtains of night fell, thunderous applause filled the air as the king and the prince gave, wor gave words of thanks to their people. Two hours had ticked by since the closing announcement, and now the night was no longer young. Yet the boisterous chatter of partygoers filtered into my ears from the plaza as though in protest of the inevitable end. Now then, I only have a bit of work left, so I've got, the so I've got a soldier on. After a big stretch, I made to continue on my way. You seem rather fatigued. Ah! Something cold pressed against my cheek, and I jumped on the spot. Uh, oh, Aleste? My apologies. I didn't expect that you'd be so surprised. With a rueful smile, he reached out to offer a beverage in a lidded cup. 
I thanked him and accepted it, then dipped my head in apology. She just, like, poked the cup to her face. Kind of adorable. Sorry, I thought I was alone here. It's all right. I myself was startled when I caught sight of you. I assumed that everyone was either enjoying the festivities in town or had retired for the evening. Why are you here? I was returning the mystic tools we used during the show and sorting through paperwork. Are you still working too, Aleste? Yes, I was dealing with leftover paperwork and handing out light refreshments to the guards. As some were unable to participate in the ceremony due to work, you see. <laughs> You're very kind. I thanked him again before sipping my drink. The tang of lemon was pleasant and refreshing. The two of us stood side by side, admiring the view outside. That was when Aleste spoke up. It seems everyone's still reluctant to put the festival behind them. I can understand why their thrill refuses to settle. The king's and the prince's speeches were splendid, of course, but so was Circus's show. Oh, were you watching as well? But of course, it was a monumental event for the prince. The very memory of the prince standing there on stage was enough to bring tears to his eyes, he said, and his raving, s and his raving snowballed from there. As I listened to a less monologue, something came to mind, so I took the opportunity to interject. By the way, have you gotten any rest, Aleste? Junia mentioned you had been overworking yourself lately. He told me to force you to rest if I ever found you, no matter what it takes. The only way I'm going to rest is if you rest with me. All right, if that's what it takes, sir. I guess we're going to have to go to bed together. Just for sleeping? God, perverts. When we wake up in the morning, then we'll have sex. <laughs> <laughs> the man needs sleep. I will hold him, cuddle him, and pet him until he falls asleep, okay? That guy's poking his nose into other people's business again. Somewhat flustered, a less broke eye contact. See, this to me feels like flirty. Like, he's like, like, Genia told me to make sure you sleep. He's like, God, why is he butting into my business? And he's like avoiding eye contact. And it's not just like, oh, him being a busybody. It's like, you know what? I don't, uh, maybe I'm reading into it. With narrowed eyes, I stepped forward and he raised his hands in surrender with a wry smile. Okay, okay. The ceremony's over, so I shall get plenty of rest after this. It's a promise, okay? If I find out you lied to me, I'll stick to you like glue next time and watch over you till you fall asleep. That sounds like a promise, not a threat. I punctuated my joking threat with a chuckle, then studied his reaction. He wore an oddly serious expression, appearing to contemplate something. This is where you admit your love for me. Is something on your mind? I see. Not bad, actually. Hmm? <gasps> I stared at him blankly, and he placed his hands on my shoulders, and her gaze is locked. Sir. Sir, you can't do this. You can't do this to me and then not, not go somewhere. Oh. Okay, well. Spacey, how about you toss that fool Ginny aside and become my secretary? You said it yourself. You'll watch over me till I fall asleep. I know, but I meant to be your girlfriend. Although I'm ashamed to admit it, I'm aware that I'm sorely lacking when it comes to caring for myself in my private life. For that reason, I've been thinking for some time that having a secretary to support me by my side at all times would be a great help. Someone to support a less by his side at all times in his private life? Hang on. Would you really call that a secretary? Exactly! No, but I don't know if this man knows how to flirt. Which, again, I like the nerds who can't flirt either, so maybe we need to spell it out for him. If you have no objections, let's waste no time and march over to Ginia right now. I need to make it clear to him that you'll be mine from now on, Spacey. If you put it that way, people will get the wrong idea. As I desperately pulled on his arm to stop him, I had no hands left to facepalm in exasperation. Unless is a responsible man with a sense of duty. He's a capable co-worker and a reliable friend, but... Sometimes he charges blindly like a bull when he has an idea. This was a surprising side of his that I discovered after we started working together. See, you had a moment where I was like, oh my god, and then it was like, be my secretary, and it's like, okay, you're opening the door, but like, man, you set me up to make me feel like maybe something more was gonna happen, and like, I feel like you're gonna slam that in my face. The window's cracked, and I'll open that motherfucker and climb in, don't get me wrong, but man, I wish you had done the work for me. But calm down first, please. I have my work to think about, my responsibilities. We can't make such decisions on the spot. We have to talk it through. Right. It slipped my mind. Some things are a higher priority than formal proceedings. And to start with, I've got to make you like me more than Ginia. 
I have a, I have a feeling this is going in a really weird direction, but sure, I guess. <laughs> this is going in a really weird direction, but okay. That's fair enough, because I'm pretty sure those words have exactly come out of my mouth about 50 or 60 times in a course of playing games on this channel, so. I feel like that's an understatement. I must have looked utterly spent as I heaved a small sigh. It was then I noticed Aless looking out the window. Well then, as the very first step, I shall let you in on something nice. What's that? Follow me. Aless led me gently by my hand, and we stepped into a silent room with no occupants. Are you going to pin me to the wall and kiss me? Because god damn it. He gestured for me to gaze out the window, and when I did... <gasps> okay, it, this is the other CG. It's not, it's not romantic, but it's beautiful. Still. Oh, he looks so good in this. Oh my god. She looks a little goofy. But, like, I'm distracted by how pretty he is. They put, like, 98% of their effort in him and then just kind of quickly do She still looks cute, don't get me wrong, but she's cute in a goofy kind of way. They look like they came from two different things. Like, the two different shows, two different games. You know what I mean? And you just put them together and you're like, yeah, sorta! <laughs> I love it, though, because he is gorgeous. Oh, it's fireworks and it makes them beautiful around the edges. Light raced up the canvas of the night sky, shone bright overhead, then burst into bloom. It's so beautiful. These were scheduled to launch around this time as sort of a salute to the citizens. It's a project I led independently, you see. Only craftsmen and minimal staff know. Not even the prince and king are aware. I cast my gaze downward. A crowd of people had noticed the sound and were pointing up at the sky in unison. Surprise fireworks. We watched the second flower of light bloom in the sky, then the third, and then Aless said something in a soft murmur. Oh. Perhaps the two of us are the only ones who saw the very first blossom. With the third bloom, as on cue, one flower after another sprang to life with a series of crackling pops. That is beautiful. I'm sorry, but that is so heavy right there. Like, the worst the ones who saw the first bloom. Sir! Game! You can't write that in and not have me go. Yeah, no, we got a thing going here. Something's happening here. Okay, cool. You're not going to give it to me, but you are handing me. You're like, the window's open, Spacey. Try climb on through. I don't have to bust through the fucking window like Vilio, Vilio did. I can. I, it's open for me. Brilliant petals of light spread wide in the sky, and my cheeks grew rosy beneath their vivid glow. And then... <gasps> a shimmering flower unfolded right before my eyes. Oh, a, a chloris. It was the mystic flower that came into being when we felt elation from the bottom of our hearts because you're seeing beautiful fireworks and you're standing there with the lest and you're so fucking elated because you love... You know what? Tell me this isn't romantic. Fight me, okay? I, I'll fight a bitch. This is so fucking romantic. They don't even have to say anything. This is... Okay. Listen. Ginny is ending in the original game where we got to be a secretary and it was like fun and happy-go-lucky. We're like, I can, I, can, I can work with this and pretend we're going to fall in love. I'm pretty fucking sure those words came out of my mouth because we didn't really have a route, okay? This has, is so much more romance-coded than Ginny's end in the first game and I was ready to work with that, okay? This is like, you're just... You're all, all you have, you, the only thing you didn't do is have him confess his feelings and kiss me. But that's okay. I'm just imagining that in my head anyway. Right after this moment. Okay? I cradled the chloris gingerly before turning back to face Aleste. Oh. 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 It's a very small flower compared to the magnificent ones in the sky, but... I'll accept this chloris as my thanks. Oh my god! We're giving him our flower. <laughs> no, but still. For a moment, he stared at me with wide eyes. Oh my god, look at how beautiful he is. Jesus. And a tender smile rose to his face. He is so fucking hot right now. Looks like I'm in trouble. I was supposed to win your affections, but our rules may be reversed at this rate. Huh? No, ignore me. Yeah, no, I mean, okay. All right, I'm sorry. 
this is basically the the door is I don't have to climb in the window. They opened the they blew down the fucking wall. They opened a giant fucking goddamn huge warehouse door. Okay, here I I can just leisurely roll on through. Okay, like I was supposed to win your affections, but uh, I have a feeling this blossom will grow into something much more significant than the flowers in the sky. Thank you, Spacey. We didn't get a kiss, but this is close enough. Look at how goddamn beautiful that was. That was... No. You know what? It was... I'm not... I can't say that was more than I... That was more than I expected. It was as much as I hoped for. Okay? Because I honestly half expected... Okay, that was about 30 minutes. You know what? I'm just... Calivus, we're gonna do on his own then. We're gonna just... Do that. Um... Because honestly, I was like, all right, you know, are we actually gonna get romance time with a list? Are we gonna get anything romancy? I was kind of half expecting them to leave it, leave it a little more like Ginia's where it's like half open, where you're like, oh yeah, now we're having a moment and like, okay. Like, like they did when he's like, be my secretary, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I kind of sense some romance going on here, but like, it's, it's very, like, you could take it as, like, nah, he, we're just friends or whatever. You could read into it. You know, it's, you're like, mm, am I reading into it because I like Aleste? Is that the way it's supposed to go? Whatever. You know? And I figured they were going to kind of leave it there. Kind of like the Ginia ending, right, in the main game where you're like, um, you know, oh, hey, we're his secretary and we're friends, but, like, is there any romance that's going to happen here? I can just imagine it. I'm going to have to imagine it. Because they kind of cock block you, right? And this, no, we didn't actually get super romance and we didn't get to make out with the man, okay? But this was so much more than like, oh, but I expected them to like kind of be like, okay, just vague. You could, you could read into it if you want to and go with it. Again, leave that window. I will pop that fucker open and climb in, okay? Nope. They, uh, did they open the door? This was obvious. This was obvious. Obvious, obvious, obvious. And short of, I love you. And then a kiss. This was basically the miniest romance route. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Like, because they knew. They they didn't give us a full. I really... Could they have gone more and exceeded my expectations by giving him, like, an extra... Like, an hour or two of his own. Like, Ginia got his couple hours, everybody. Like, giving him a little, like... You know... Where we have this moment where, like, maybe there's a little bit more and there is some romance and we get to kiss him and we get an extra CG. Yeah, yeah, they could have gone a little bit beyond this. Could have given us an extra 30 minutes where we actually have romance and we actually kiss or something. You know? Could have done his own little thing. Whatevs. They didn't. Slightly disappointed by that. But at the same time, we got this. And you know what? This is amazing. And this was actually, like, this is where my expectations wanted to be. But I really did, honestly, like, this was my hopes. I was hoping they'd at least get to this. I knew they weren't going to go the seriously beautiful romance. You know what I mean? We weren't going to get a kiss and we weren't going to get the confession type thing. But I was hoping we get this, like, the door's open, we know it's there, whatever. You know? I expected them to kind of cock block us a little you know what i mean this actually exceeded my hopes so like i love this so much <laughs> Best. Uh, yeah so now that this took about 30 minutes i honestly did i was like oh it's probably going to be really short or whatever but they did a good job Keeping it short simple it's not really its own route it's just a little ending but still giving it a little meet something hey him fawning we over you know Olivis doing the show with us we do the show and then we have this beautiful fucking moment with him afterward and like it's enough it's enough for me it really is like i i mean is it enough not yes and no if we never got another fan disc and this is where it ended i could still be happy and be like it's okay because i know damn well that right here this is romance this is like, like, we're giving him this flower, and he's like, oh my god. And like, we're gonna kiss right now. Okay, there's no question about it. Maybe not. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna make you fall for me first. But like, I'm just, you, just kiss me already, goddammit, okay? But like, the romance is here. 
This is the opening for a route. And if there was another fan disc, we would absolutely get in a less route, and I'd be fucking ecstatic. And, 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 I didn't know that there was an Alest ending, okay? Alright, I didn't know there was even an ending at all. So this, being in here, I am so fucking happy. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, I'm serious. Yeah, okay, if we didn't already know after playing the first game that this has usurped to realize this place and become my number one. This is definitely now with this fan disc involved because one, they find they they listened to my cries internally and gave us Jinnia, and then they gave us this. Is it a full, you know, couple of hours with Alas? No, no. But look at how beautiful this CG is in this moment, and it's like it's actually more than I hoped for, and. The fact that it exists at all makes me want to cry, too. I love it so much. Oh. I just... I just want to fawn over it for a while. Stupid glasses, man! <laughs> it's really what it is. Like, I do like Aleste as a character to begin with, but if he didn't have glasses, would I love him as much? I don't know! If the glasses... 90% of your charm. I say that, but like... Listen, he absolutely fits the glasses character trope. The best, you know what I mean? Where you're like, you just don't... Are you a robot? <laughs> you're kind of a robot, but I love it. Oh. Oh, I love it so much. Look at his beautiful little face. Look at how precious we look together. Anyway, so yeah, we'll do Calivus. We'll do his ending in its own part. Um, Just because these were about 30 minutes. So they gave us they gave us a lot of meat. So bravo, I'm happy about that, so... Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.